so today I'm going to show you how to do this fun and easy Nightmare Before Christmas eye design. If you want to learn how to do this, keep on watching. Okay, so before I get started, I just wanted to share some news with you guys. I know some of you know this already, but I am pregnant with my third child. My husband and I are very, very excited. My youngest will be five by the time this one comes around. So it's been a while since we had a baby in the house and we're really looking forward to it. I know it'll be a wake up call though because I've definitely gotten used to my full nights of rest. Um, but it'll be very exciting and I'm about nine weeks along now. So if you see my face get rounder and rounder and rounder as the months go on, that is why. It's because I have a little bun in the oven. So, all right, on with the tutorial. So the first thing you're gonna do is the, the Jack Skellington. So, just do a circle in the corner of the eye. Fill in your circle. And if you want to put glitter on that, now would be the time to do it. Um, but I didn't, I don't have any here, so I'm gonna skip that uh, part. And then I'm just gonna do like a little line there because that's gonna be where his hat is. And then I'll do a little ball right here because that's gonna be where uh, the ball of his hat. So next I'm going to be taking a rainbow cake I made with just dark green and light green and a smaller, uh, this is a number 10 one stroke flat brush. And with uh, the dark color on the outside, I'm going to make some holly. So remember that the hat's going to be there. So you're going to want to start about right here and go up, down, up down and out. Now starting from here, I'm going to do the opposite. Down and in. And then just fill that in. And make sure your holly um, is kind of going around on top of your eyebrow because we're going to have it framing the eye. So we're going to do that down here too. So uh, up down and up and fill that in. I'm going to take some Diamond Effects Red. It can be any red that you have. And with a medium sized brush, this is a number four, number six will work too. Um, going to do the hat and you don't want it to be perfect. You want it to have jagged edges. So we're going to kind of make it look funky like that because Jack Skellington has that kind of creepy it's like a creepy Santa Claus. Okay, now I have a number, oh, it's a zero. Really skinny brush to do the detail work. And first, I'm gonna outline my jack very lightly. And the trick to making Jack Skellington look like Jack Skellington are the following things. Uh, first, he's going to have big oval eyes that kind of point in towards each other, like that. And his nose is really tiny and it's in between his eyes. So about right there. And then his smile goes all the way across at the bottom of the design. Once you've got the smile that goes from the edge to the edge of your circle, just do a couple little hash marks going all different directions for his teeth. And there's his face. The hat just outlined the fluff. And up here. And 
this little ball. I'm going to outline the holly and we're going to make the holly look kind of creepy too to match him. And how you do that is, okay, so we're just going to outline it normally at first. So just long the swoops. Okay, and then in the middle, I'm going to do like three lines to make it look a little creepy. At the very end, do a swirl. And then little swirls coming out each point. And I'll do the same thing up here. Take that um, brush I'd used to do the hat, um, get a little bit more of that red paint, and do some holly berries on the inside part of my um, leaves. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of white dots to make it look like snow. All different sizes. Alright, so there you have it. It's just a cute, pretty quick Nightmare Before Christmas design, so I hope you guys liked it. Bye!